And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Jonah Matthews from USC. And uh, Jonah, before we get to what's going on for life right now, I just want to deal with your last moment because on the court, because not everyone had closure. And right. you could argue for you, you had great closure. You hit the yeah, game-winning shot <laughs> to beat UCLA. And not everyone right. can say that in these crazy times that we live in. So when you look back a month later, knowing that you had a game-winning shot, and that's your last memory as a senior, what do you think? Then they, uh, like an hour or two ago, I was talking to my mom about it, and she was like, well, at least you went on like a high note. And I was like, yeah, how many people can say that they made a game-winning shot against their rival like for the last college game? Um, and like, who knew that was my last game? So I was thinking like, oh, like, I made it like cool, but we had packed to a tournament at NCA, so that's like, that shot's over with. But now when we heard the news, I was like, well, at least – that was the last shot I made. I was, I'm happy for it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a memory maker for the rest of your life. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we're in strange times. Uh, obviously, we're all hunkered down right now. Uh, so, you know, let's play the what-if game. You hit the game-winning shot. Uh, if USC had that chance to be in the Pac-12 tournament and then the NCAA tournament, which would have happened, uh, what was the ceiling with this group? Uh, it was it – was, it was up. I mean, like, honestly, to be honest – since Washington State beat Colorado, we were gonna we were on that side of the bracket, so we're like, okay, like something's in the works here. Like Oregon State's gonna play Oregon without a Chris Duarte on a neutral floor. Like what could happen? And we're honestly like, we can get to the championship and win it. If that if the, if the chips were to fall like that, um, we could have possibly won a Pac-12 championship and got a better seed in the NCAA tournament and played two teams that were just as good or like not as good as us. We could beat them, get to a Sweet 16. Like that's what I was thinking in my head before the coronavirus like hit. And everything was canceled. That was like my vision. Why do you think your team clicked so well in that last week and a half? Um, we, I think it was a sense of urgency. Um, we dropped those two games in Utah uh, in Colorado. We came back. These games were like must win. We were preaching like from the coaches to the players to the players. These are like a must win. These are must win games. So like anything you got from here on out is laid on the line. We don't want to be the team to come back and say like what if, even though. Like we didn't get to finish it out, but like we, we were on, on, a, on the trail for like a really good ending. So I think the whole team was just on the this sense of urgency. Um, everybody felt the same thing. All right, so I got to go back to the shot for a moment here before we go forward. Um, I'm sure you've watched it. Uh, I'm just curious, as you see it develop in almost slow motion in your head or you're watching it, uh, how did it open up for you to be in that position and to, A, be so confident that you want willing to take it and then obviously make it. Uh, well, before when Cody Riley got the free throws, Coach Info called timeout and like he came, brought us in. He's like, "We're not running no play. It's just Jonah and O high ball screen. Like either we're gonna win or we're gonna lose." And I was like, "Okay, for sure. Like who else? Like what else would you want to hear at that point?" So then he made two free throws, and like I'm happy he made both to be honest because if he missed one, it would have been a, it would it would have been rushed. We'd get down there, we'd have rush a shot. But since he made, I got time to really catch, gather. I thought it was gonna be a trap or something. There's no trap. There's a one-five switch, which I was like, "We'll see." What any guard would be like, "Thank God, one-five switch." And the way he played it, it just like it was like a muscle memory, like step back. Like he went that way, I had to step back, and then I was like a workout shot at that point. Like the morning before that, I was working out with Jay Hart and Chris Capco, literally shooting that shot like 15 reps in a row. Like it was weird. It was honestly just weird. Well, unbelievable memory for you and for USC and, and your family. All right, so we're all in this lockdown right now. How are you coping? Um, it's been tough. Um, I was my girlfriend right now, so that's been helping me. But honestly, not being able to get in the gym and just not being able to, like, work out or see anybody or shoot a basket has really been hard. But, like, just lifting and running has been cool. But I just can't wait to get back on the court. And without knowing when, uh, ultimately, what is your plan at whatever point we get the clear where, you know, some of these restrictions obviously are going to be lifted. Uh, I'm about to, I'll probably sign with Washington, the Washington agency. Um, they're going to move me to a condo in Santa Monica. Um, and then whenever it starts clearing, we'll start working out Santa Monica's. So whenever this uh, blows over, I'll sign and they'll move me and then I'll get right to it. All right. So your teammates that are left behind, the underclassmen and those that you know that are coming in, what's your expectation Let's assume there's a season uh, for USC next season. Oh, the pick where we left off. Um, they know uh, the freshmen know that like their last year, they know what it takes to win like greedy games, tough games, or at the high level that we play at. So I hope that they take that as a year of experience of this past year 
and bring it to the kids next year coming in. This they carry that we picked up where we left off. Um, trying to get a Pac-12 championship and try to win it, try to win a Pac-12 regular season. Um, but that seems to be really talented. Um, well, the year I mean, Isaiah Mobley, Ethan, all the year under their belt now, so they should be ready. And with Evan coming in, they should be even more ready to win. All right, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, what was it like to play with Onekwe Okongwu? It, it was insane. Um, if you throw the ball anywhere by the rim, he's catching it or dunking it. So, like, that's a safety net. You can get trapped. The big man, you just throw it over the top, and he's catching that. So, just have have him in the paint, and then you get beat on defense, he's there to block it. So, it's like he offered so many shots, and playing with him was like playing with a more explosive choice he met to. Like, it was, it, was, it was insane. Well, congratulations on a great career at USC, a memorable shot. I wish you all the best. Stay safe out there, and hopefully things will go well for you at the next level. Thank you so much.